because we've had Destiny on the show before, and I remember we played poker with him. We got along swimmingly. We we actually agreed on most things. And then uh, I, I don't I don't see him as grifting. We were playing poker, and his he, he criticized Trump, and we had those debates, same as we would have him on the show. But as of late, he and like Kyle Kalinske and Crystal Ball, for example, idiots. They they all went off the they all went off the rocker, calling for violence. All of them have called for violence. Like Destiny himself has said. Destiny has been getting absolutely destroyed on many different platforms recently. It seems like a lot more people are talking about Destiny as he gets more and more out there. This is no exception to that. They talked about Destiny on TimCast and Destiny got absolutely demolished live on this show. Let's get into this clip here from TimCast where the entire TimCast crew, Tim Pool, Phil Labonte, all these guys absolutely go in on Destiny and the harmful rhetoric that he has been using. Let's check it out. He is so stupid. Because that's what the Democrats are now. There are no more moderate Democrats. He's right. not a moderate Democrat. He's an idiot. And if you look at like where the how many Democrats that were moderate, moderate Democrats that consider themselves moderate Democrats, they've all left the Democrat Party because the 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 Democrats have doubled down on racism. They've doubled down on identity politics. They've doubled down on all the things that that normal Americans are rejecting. You got the the. The main, the major. If you enjoy content like this, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Names in the Democrat Party now are all like they're all pro Hamas and they're anti Israel. Like you see, uh, the squad, they're the ones that dictate the sentiment. Oh, but AOC is going more Israel, isn't she? Well, I don't, I don't know if AOC She's is falling in line. She might be. She, yeah. she, I could, I could be wrong about. And then AOC. two of the squad members got to boot. Yeah, well, that, that's a good thing. But you that sentiment is the majority sentiment. You got people like like Destiny doesn't get to walk walk out here and act like that he's not like in the same boat as Hassan Piker. Has, and Hassan is clearly anti-Israel, pro Hamas. Well, to be clear, I don't want to be defending Destiny. I really don't like Destiny at all, but Destiny and Hassan are not in the same boat at all. Um Destiny is way more pro-Israel than Hassan is. Hassan is like full-on pro-Hamas, like actual disgusting behavior. Like it, it, it's, he's full brainwashed, man. Like he, he's all the way in. I don't want to say the exact things that he's been saying because I don't even know if I'm allowed to because they're so bad. Like that guy is, he, he's off, he's off his rocker, okay? Destiny also is, but he's not that bad on this particular topic. Also, because I feel very differently to Tim Pool and to Phil Labonte about the Israel topic, I just think we shouldn't be involved at all. To be honest with you, I hope they both lose. It's kind of like when division rivals in football, like your, your favorite team, like let's say I'm a Saints fan, when the Bucks and the Falcons play each other, I hope they both lose. I don't want either side to win. That's how I feel about the Middle East war. I just, I don't want either of them to win. I don't, I'm not a fan. So destiny is much more on like the Israel side than the, the Hamas side for sure. Anybody who is supporting Hamas, fully disagree, fully disavow, but also at the same time, anyone who's full on Israel, I also just disagree. Um, so yeah, I think Phil was wrong on that point. As far as all the other ones though, pretty spot on there. I mean, Destiny is a, he's a cancer. He's, he's toxic to the, the political space in general because all of his takes, none of, like, I, none of them have any, he doesn't have any morals or ethics. It's the same thing as Hassan. In most instances, just not the Israel versus Palestine thing. There's no morals or ethics. It's all just like my side says I'm supposed to say this. Therefore, I'm going to also continue to say this. It's like it's so boring, dude. It's so boring. Like have your own opinions every once in a while. It's ridiculous. Awesome. That's all of BreadTube is they've all got their start because of destiny. He is the exact reason why the the left is the way it is now he's he he's he is the absolute reason sure that it that and, it's and happening. he's right the democrats only stand a chance if they get rid of the extremists in their party and try and become more moderate so how about the democratic party and its institution and and and, and the people running it today are gone and then it's tulsi gabbard who takes it back over and then you effectively get two more moderate parties with the Republican Party and the Democratic Party and actual agreements and arguments the way they used to be instead of this crackpot, tanky communist garbage that they currently rep represent now. It's well, interesting hearing pollsters talk about this because they'll refer to the the election as fairly stable because things are so polarized. This like, is <laughs> very difficult for people to so sway each other's voters because people are so divided. This is what we've talked about before, though, is to get normal Democrats 
to come back to norm to being normal Democrats, like people like Tulsi Gabbard. People. No, dude, the, the normal Democrats are gone because you're not allowed to be normal Democrats because of people like Destiny, because of people like Hassan and those YouTubers who, who you know, who are controlling the left wing space in media now, because let's be real, news stations, they're not controlling left wing media. It's YouTubers and Twitch streamers. And that's it's sad to say, but that's the reality of it. And if someone who is a normal Democrat, normal left winger speaks out and talks about their normal opinions, let's use Joe Rogan for an example. Joe Rogan is shunned from the left wing because guess what? They're called alt right <laughs> by people like Destiny and Hassan. Whenever Joe Rogan shares just normal opinions, like, hey, guys, maybe we shouldn't be like showing children these weird books that we're showing them in school. Like, why are we showing fourth graders and fifth graders these really weird books? And when parents like ask about it, they're very secretive. Like, why are we doing that? Then Destiny's like, oh, you're an alt writer. Hassan's like, oh, you're an alt writer. It's like, that's why there's no normal Democrats left, unless they're actually in politics. Like someone like Tulsi Gabbard, who is still technically a Democrat, although she's pretty, you know, she's pretty normal. Um, th those are still there. Like those still exist, few and far between, but they still exist because they're actual Democrats in politics. As far as like just cultural impactful people, Joe Rogan, Russell Brand, all those types of guys, they're gone, man. They're not, they're not Democrats anymore. They don't, they don't call themselves Democrats. They're not viewed by Democrats as, but by the Democrats, you know, and that's, that's the Democrats did that. It's all their fault. They pushed them out. They pushed all the normal people out. Now all they have is extremists and lunatics. That's it. People like, like, like Kennedy and, and yeah, having the ability to, to actually converse with people that are, that have a different opinion, but stop treating people that you disagree with like they're evil and blah 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 and destiny himself is in, is a is absolutely terrible about talking to anyone that's that supports trump it he doesn't get to say things like that mm -hmm. and well, act like he, he's not it, falling for look, violence against trump they've all gotten worse because we've had destiny on the show before and i remember we played poker with him we got along swimmingly we we actually agreed on most things and then uh, I, I don't I don't see him as grifting. We were playing poker and his he, he criticized Trump and we had those debates same as we would have him on the show. But as of late, he and like Kyle Kalinske and Crystal Ball, for example, idiots, they, they all went off their They all went they, uh, uh, off their rocker calling for violence. All of them have called for violence like Destiny himself has Kyle said Kalinske has called for violence. He, they've said, oh, I'm actually no, I can't say for sure if Kyle's done it. But Destiny but Destiny. I, I don't think Destiny has either, to be clear. If Phil Labonte, I don't pre-watch these videos, by the way. You guys know that. If Phil Labonte is about to say here to Tim Pool that Destiny has called for violence and he's going to refer to like the Middle East war, I think he's wrong. I understand why Phil is lumping and, and you know, the whole Tim Cast crew is lumping in Destiny and Hassan together because Destiny did give Hassan his start. But they disagree on, on a lot of different things, and this is one of them. He has definitely said, oh, I can't wait. I want to see all the Trump supporters get killed. He, he's talking about... Yeah, he has said that for sure. Um, at the After Donald the, the assassination attempt against Donald Trump, the first one, he did say things like, oh, yeah, if, if the shooter would have killed a bunch of people in the crowd or whatever, then I would have laughed about it. I would have made jokes about it, which is just, it's just disgusting, man. Like, no defending that for sure. Phil, Phil's right about that for sure. Uh, during the like right after Trump was the assassination attempt, he was saying it's right, so yep. good that yep. that what's his name got killed. Like, and he was saying, "I'll buy you a front row ticket for the yeah, next." Yeah, like one. this kid is this kid is garbage, and he's saying things like that. Is the it's so ridiculous coming out of his stupid mouth? So Matt, you're a huge fan of him. You like I, him? He's a <laughs> tell us how person. you really feel. Hate the kid. He's a garbage kid. Well, he's like thirty something, so I, he acts like a child. So and I'm <laughs> I'm old and I'm. But what happened to Kyle Kalinsky? He can't identify farms from a plane, so I'm not Ka sure. He used to... Which, by the way, the Destiny saying that he would laugh, buy the guy a front row ticket or whatever after the Trump assassination, you might think, oh yeah, it's just harmless jokes, but it's really not harmless jokes, especially when you're dealing with the radical left. Destiny is viewed as one of the leaders of the left, you know, and they always... that People like Destiny always come after Tim Pool whenever there's like a school... Like they had that, that one school shooting where the guy had screenshots of him watching a Tim Pool episode or something like that on his phone. And then they were all like, oh, Tim Pool's radicalizing the right wing to make them into terrorists and stuff like this. Destiny was one of those people. And so when Destiny says stuff like that, it really does impact the minds of the people watching and it's not just destiny that that's guilty of this it's every single left-wing show that has been pushing forward this extremism the view bill maher all those people they're responsible for it and they'll never take responsibility for it but whenever destiny says things like that it is dangerous 
you can think that it's harmless jokes, but it's not. It is dangerous for him to say because these left wing people, they are extremists. They are lunatics and they are obviously very brainwashable. So you're saying things like that. It's just going to desensitize them to the fact that they could also go do the same thing that the other Trump assassination attempt guy did. Be super chill. He had defended Carl Benjamin in the past. I was like, he's a cool guy. We disagree on some things. Now he's just posting like destiny. Mm hmm. And crystal ball as well. I feel like they think that that's effective to bring Their people. Fuse going down away. or something. Well, I don't know. Maybe I mean maybe it could be. Uh, you know. Um, it could be about their views, but I feel like they, they think that, you know, Trump is winning and that's why they're posting things like that. I think that they, they're like, this helps. I don't agree with them, but still. Well, I mean, if they were, if you're saying that they were rational people who have decided to start acting irrationally for on purpose, you'd say that's they're grifters. I'm, I'm huh. fine with calling them grifters. Yeah. I mean, look at here. Here's what it is. Okay. I'll explain it. I'm going to get a little bit nerdy here. I'll be as fast as possible though. It's just some, something called audience capture. And a lot of you probably already know what that is, but for those who don't know, I'll explain it. Audience capture is, is basically just like this feedback loop that you get, right? Let's say we're, we're in Destiny's position or in Tim Pool's position, whatever. Let, let's use Destiny as the example. Destiny makes a video and it's like somewhat, you know, fence riding. He's somewhat defending the right wing, trying to be nuanced about the situation. And he's also evenly criticizing the left wing and the right wing in that video. The audience reception might be decent. He'll get some good positive comments like, hey, man, I enjoyed this very, you know, even keeled breakdown of the situation. And then Destiny right after has a situation where he really doesn't like what the right wing had to say about the topic that he's discussing. That video is going to go absolutely crazy. All the left wingers are going to be so happy that Destiny made the video. He's going to get so many more positive comments on that video. And that's the feedback loop. So now Destiny knows, okay, if I make an even keeled fence riding video, I get some positive response, but nobody's like really loving it. Nobody's donating. Nobody's sending super thanks in the chat. There's not as many likes on the video. Like people aren't interacting with it as much. Let me try another left wing video where I'm not really defending the right at all. I'm just defending the left wing. And then he gets a, another more positive response. And that feedback loop just keeps going and keeps pushing you further and further left. And you feel like you have to keep going further and further left to keep making the audience happy over time. It's something that I have had to like fight against in my videos because I'll say certain things. I'll make certain videos that I know for a fact the audience that I have cultivated because my, my opinions are mostly in in lockstep with the the normal right wing opinion nowadays the left is absolutely insane and it's pretty easy to just have common sense and stay stuff say stuff like that but i know every once in a while i'm going to say something that's going to really piss off a lot of my audience but it just has to be said because i'm not going to fall victim to audience capture i think people like destiny and kyle kalinsky and those people they've fallen victim to audience capture and i i think tim pool has actually done a pretty good job at not falling victim to this audience capture because tim pool also says things a lot of the time that pisses off a lot of his audience and he, he holds his ground and sometimes he pisses me off Sometimes I don't really like what Tim Pool does either, but I like that he holds his ground and I, I have to respect it because people like Destiny and these guys, they don't hold their ground. They just go with whatever they're supposed to say, whatever their audience capture, that feedback loop tells them to say, they're going to fall into that trap and it makes them more money. But it's just, if you actually understand what's going on, it's it's bad for the brand, bad for the optics. Let me know in the comments though, what you guys think about what Tim Cast, Tim Pool, Phil Labonte had to say about Woke Destiny here live on Tim Cast IRL.